Whole wheat flour and olive oil, rather than butter or shortening, form the crust of this delicious savory mushroom tart that has a flavor made all the more complex with the addition of tahini, a roasted sesame paste. So you're using three quarters of a cup of all-purpose unbleached flour, and we're using three quarters of a cup of whole wheat flour. Mix those together with one teaspoon of salt. And remember, salt isn't so much to make things salty, but salt is added to bring out all the flavors. And into this, three tablespoons of olive oil. So this is a very different kind of crust. And use a rubber scraper to stir. And our secret ingredient, a quarter of a cup of tahini. Now tahini comes from the Arabic word tahana, meaning to grind. And this is a protein-packed condiment, which is made out of ground up sesame seeds. It's very good, and we need three tablespoons of ice water without any ice. So three tablespoons just sprinkled over the dry ingredients. This is great. So now just put this out on a piece of parchment paper and try to gather it into a single mass. And you can roll it between two pieces of parchment paper. We want it to fit into our nine inch removable bottom tart pan. So now you can roll this up on your rolling pin. And like all my crusts, I either pull off the excess with my thumb, pressing into the fluting of the ring, or you can take your rolling pin and roll right across the top. Now, before you put it in your preheated 425 degree oven, dock it, meaning you're adding little holes which will prevent the crust from erupting during baking. And you should get a nice flat crust out of this. Bake the crust at 425 for 35 to 40 minutes. Our crust came out beautifully. Look how great it looks. It's a little bit smaller than the pan. It does shrink a little bit. I have my oil heating. Add a half a cup of finely minced shallots and one clove of garlic, finely minced. We just want to sweat them a little bit. These are called aromatics. Beautiful. With a half a teaspoon of salt and a little bit of red pepper flakes. Just a little. Stir those around just until the shallots are translucent. So now the mushrooms. We have one pound of wild mushrooms. Cremini, oyster mushrooms. If you can find portobello, that would be nice. Add them to the pot. And continue to stir them and cook until tender and golden brown. We have a swap out. So after eight to 10 minutes, we're going to add two eggs, slightly beaten, quarter of a cup of parsley, finely chopped. I like to use just the leaves of the Italian parsley for this. So beautiful. And three quarters of a cup of Gruyere cheese grated. So this all gets added to the mushrooms. And your Gruyere. And what a simple, nice filling. And this goes right into your crust. Layer your mixture right in the crust. Mm, how special this is. This is a wonderful lunch dish. It is a fantastic first course for a dinner of a leg of lamb or a fish. And it could also be a vegetable course. So there. Now this goes onto a rimmed baking sheet. Put it right back into the oven, 350 degrees, 30 to 35 minutes. Well, here's the tart, still slightly warm. 
perfect temperature for serving. Be careful not to let the ring burn your arm. That has happened. Doesn't that look good? And you can garnish with pretty parsley leaves. The green looks beautiful on this tart. And it also adds a nice flavor. There, I think that's enough. And then the salad. Oh, just a wonderful mixed green salad, fresh garden lettuces with a sherry vinaigrette. And this should be dressed right before serving. And the dressing does take better on the salad if the salad is not wet. So use your salad spinner and let's see how this cuts. And a generous size for a luncheon course. Look how great. A fresh green salad, a glass of white wine, a wedge of mushroom tart. What could be better for a lunch shared with friends? Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time on Martha Bakes. When I make polenta at home, I always have leftovers. So I pour it into a sheet pan, refrigerate it overnight. In the morning, I cut small squares, put it into sizzling butter, sear it for a short time until nice and crisp. We can plate this. A light pat of butter across the top. I like to add maple syrup on this. Better than waffles or pancakes.